Okay, I want to show a video on the Sedna um, USB charging grommet that you can install. Um, this is a pretty nifty little device. You use a whole saw I, uh, to cut into a table. I'm using it for a custom end table. Uh, it features four USB ports, two um, run at one amp, the other two run at 2.4 amps. Um, the power cord is a simple barrel cable and it comes with a regular AC adapter and this is rated at a total of 4 amps. So in theory you should be able to get 4 amps total, maybe charge a couple of phones and a tablet, uh, but don't expect all four ports to run at full amperage all at the same time. One thing I wanted to point out when looking for the hole saw to cut the hole for this device is on the Amazon page it said two and a half inch. Don't buy a two and a half inch hole saw unless you already have one laying around and you don't mind wrapping uh, some electrical tape around this to keep this firmly in place. Um, I've done a measurement over and over and over again and it's actually two and three eighths inches is we're going to get you a snug fit. Um, so just make sure that you realize that when you're picking up your hole saw. Again, if you already have a two and a half inch hole saw, don't feel like buying the extra one. Go ahead and uh, you could probably use that. Just wrap some electrical tape or some duct tape if you want, the, want it to stay firmly in place. If you don't do that, it's going to slip out as you're trying to pull your cables. The grommet has an extra hole right here with a rubber gasket so you can easily fit power cables in here for a laptop or anything else you might have and hide it nicely underneath. So, um, so far I like the idea behind this. Um, like I said, I'm going to create an end table that is used for uh, charging up phones or tablets when we're sitting there on the couch. I've tried other devices before and uh, they're okay, but uh, it'd be nice to have this permanently sitting there and not have to worry about that. So I'm actually going to install this in a, uh, a custom-made table of mine, and I will show you the results when everything's all done. Okay, so this was the, uh, the custom end table that I built. Uh, not going to go into too much detail of how I built it. Basically, you just use pockets, pocket hole uh, screws everywhere I went. Uh, cut a hole at the very end of it, so that way... Most of the table can be used for other things, such as placing items down or whatever, and uh, we can put the charging uh, plate here. So, hopefully you heed my advice. Do not try to use a cordless drill. Even if you have an 18 volt drill, it might not be powerful enough. Luckily I had a nice, uh, even though, well, cheap uh, uh, corded drill from Harbor Freight. So that really helped me power through this hole. Without that, it was my drills were stopping all the time and just not working out very well. So I've already gone through and kind of cleaned up the edges a bit. One thing I noticed, I'm now really happy that I chose to get the uh, 2 and 3 eighths width uh, hole saw because when I insert this in here, it's still actually very loose. So I'm going to need to... Uh, tape it up a bit, like I said, for uh, if you were using the two and a half inch. But just keep that in mind that even with this uh, smaller saw that was meant for it, there was a little bit of side to side travel in the in the saw, so it created a little bit bigger hole. Um, maybe if I got a better hole saw, it might have been a little bit better. If you have something a little bit more accurate, um, otherwise, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and use some probably some duct tape to keep it firmly in place here. Uh, but otherwise, this thing is pretty much ready to go. I can go ahead and plug this in. There is a, one of these really annoying blue lights, but there's not much you can do about that. Uh, I guess you could try to break the LED bulb so that it's not uh, going to shine anymore, but I'm just going to leave it alone. It would be a different story if this was on a nightstand and it's just glowing in the middle of the night. But... Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. So the device I use is a Nexus 6P. So we're going to go ahead. I have a program called Ampere here to uh, kind of show off the uh, how many amps it's charging at. 
and uh, it's actually pretty good using uh, just a single port. I'm already getting 1.2 milliamps, um, or 1.2 amps, hopefully not 1.2 milliamps. Uh, 1.2 amps just charging this single device alone, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, if I try to plug in a tablet into another one of the 2.4 ports, and keep in mind part of the reason that the charging amperage is actually lower is my screen is on, so it is taking up power because the screen is on. So I just plugged in uh, a tablet, and so you can see the, the power dropping off a bit. Again, if I were to actually let this charge, it still says it's charging rapidly, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, with the screen on, the amperage is actually pretty low. Actually, that's pretty bad if it's already at 10 milliamps. Um, but I don't know how accurate this program really is in reporting the amperage. So I usually just look at how much time is left to charge an AC, and I think it's just a little too soon for it to calculate that. But all in all, this is a really great charger, and even if it's something that you just need to trickle charge one of your devices, um, you know, it's something you can set your tablet on overnight, or have your phone plugged into it while you're, uh, um, while you're sitting there watching TV. So I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with the way the table ended out. Um, so I'm going to give this thing actually five stars on Amazon. I think it's a phenomenal, um, phenomenal piece of equipment. I wish the price was a little bit lower. $30 is kind of a lot for something like this. Um, but I still think it's worth it, especially if you want to go with something just a little bit more custom than having cables coming from the wall or uh, a big block sitting there on your table. So, uh, like I said, I give it five stars on Amazon. So, thanks for watching. Bye.